<laughs> Welcome to Red Eye. It's like the king of queens. If by king, you mean queen. Let's welcome our super awesome and awesomely super guest. She's got the sultriest smile on the radio dial. I'm here tonight with Mary Walter, Fox News radio personality. She's so hot, hot cakes are now called Mary Walter cakes. Hmm. Oh. Not as delectable, but okay. He knows bills like I know pills. <laughs> Mary, uh, okay, is Brown going to pull this off? You know, I think he is. I, I don't believe polls. I'm sorry, Bill. I, I don't believe polls because personally, if I'm ever polled, I'm lying to the pollster. Just to yes. answer them. I, I just want to do that once. I just want to be polled once. Yeah. But he's got the momentum. There's a lot of buzz about this guy. And I think he's a lot of independents behind him who are really excited about him. And they're just going to vote against the incumbent. That's, do you that's think Obama helped by visiting? I think he helped Brown. Yeah. Listen, he campaigned in Jersey. We all saw how great that worked out. He campaigned in Virginia. We saw how great that worked out. Mm -hmm. So this will make him But he did win three. the presidency. That worked out I pretty well. I have to well. say, I have to so, say, well, it's very so. nice to see Republicans supporting a handsome, inexperienced state senator. Yeah, but here's the deal. He's running for Senate, not for president, Bill. Oh, hmm? good That's point, not Greg. a deal. That is, that is not a deal. Good deal. But Bill, I <laughs> One thing I liked, Mary, about this piece was that the New York Times kind of confessed that the media is liberal when they said that overwhelmingly the, the overwhelming population of people who are in right. the media are liberal. So they just admitted that right. what Fox News has always said all along. I but guess. aren't they all doing that now? They're all kind of just copping to what they are. I, I think they're finally just realizing that we're on to them. So they're just copping to what they are now and they're saying this is what we are, this is who we are. But what I loved in this article was they said they named four characteristics that liberals have in general and professors in particular share. And one of them was an expressed tolerance tolerance for controversial ideas, which I find laughable because they're some of the most least tolerant people in the world. Yeah. And they sit up there and they don't want to hear opinions. They don't want liberal opinion, uh, conservative opinions in their classrooms. So I f uh, that's laughable. It's a joke. It like Rush Mary, um, he, he, Jim makes a good point, but st statistically, children are often abused by members of their own family. So theoretically, right. You could ban that. You could ban them from being with their own family. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to take it to the nth degree, but do I have this right? This guy is suing basically because the airline won't let him sit next to little boys. Yeah. Because that just doesn't sound good in court, does yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure where the case is going to go. Uh, I think point. it's a symbolic. It's a symbolic lawsuit, Harry. Is that what it, to point okay, out the right. obvious? Because he's donating yeah. the proceeds to charity. I, I think so. I got to tell you. Well, Mary, you're kind of looking like... I, I, I so disagree. I mean, right. tourists came to New York, but they came months later. They didn't come like a week later when when there was still the devastation going on. I, think, I, I don't know. There's almost like a grace period you need. Yes, the cruise lines are doing some great things, but I just think it's but, in poor taste. I hate it. I think it's awful. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I think mean, from a visual, like a percept, it, it looks bad, but I mean, there's tragedy everywhere, 365 days a year. What are you going to do on it? There's some time when you're on vacation, something bad's happening. Also, what's uh, Mary, you said you don't believe <laughs> polls, but you think Brown is going to win. So what are you basing that on? I just think he has the momentum right now. I just think that... Based, the... based on the polls? No, based on Fox News and what I've seen on TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they're fair and balanced. Thank Absolutely. you, Andy. Yeah. Let's welcome back our guest, Mary Walter, two first names. Fox News That's radio right. personality. She's so hot, her mouth could be used as an easy bake oven. <laughs> Michigan Congressman, that is... Hey, Mary, you know what's wrong? Double standards. Exactly. You're reading my mind. I was reading your talking points. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Van Morrison just had a kid, what, a couple months ago? 64 yeah. years old. Yeah, Did brown anybody girl, say I think. <laughs> the worst part is he's breastfeeding. I'm yeah. against that. I am oh. against no, that. No, to make your point, you, you find it disgusting, <laughs> not disgusting, but kind of troubling that right. an elderly man can have a baby or, or a ca a cause a, a woman to get pregnant, right. you know? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. And listen, I think both men and women hit a certain age where you just should not probably be having children. Mm. But Van Morrison, when he had his kid, I saw these news reports. Oh, congratulations. He welcomes him. Nobody said anything about the fact that he was 64 years old yeah. when he became a daddy. Jim. Tony Randall, too, had a Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. But the exactly. bottom line is it's just the way men and women are built. I mean, as a woman, if you have to worry about breaking a hip while giving birth, yeah, that's it's a, too old to have a baby. That's probably. Yeah, but they're talking about her being being too old to be around for the child. Well, what about men who are that age? They're going to be too old to be around for the child, too, then, right? Yeah, but that's good. 
Yeah, and also, kids, <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest, kids don't really care about dad. Yeah, they yeah, don't. They need their mom. They, they, they need their mom. No, the great thing, you know, kid, uh, we, uh, daughters without fathers just become strippers. Exactly. And we, we know we, we always need a lot of strippers <laughs> we need a because lot we need more strippers. doctors, and they're all working <laughs> their way through school. Terrible thing to say, and a joke, I might add. Mary, uh, he lives in an 8,000 square foot, Cameron <laughs> lives in an 8,000 square foot palace yeah. in Malibu. You think he's aware that eco terrorists would love to burn it down? <laughs> no, probably not. He probably has no clue. <laughs> yeah. He's too busy, you know, with the air conditioning on and all the lights and the security system and everything else. It, this is like the story about Beyonce and performing for Gaddafi. Yeah. And, and they're just so ignorant. They're, and, and that's the beauty of all this. It's hysterical. It's it, because they're just so hypocritical and they're so ignorant. And it, the, the Members of ELF are also pretty ignorant. They're 20 somethings, most of them unemployed, have no clue. And when you question them about what they really believe and like think ahead about what you're doing. What are ELF? That's the uh, Earth Liberation Front. Yeah. Right. And they're, they're, they are a terrorist group. They're yeah. a, a domestic terrorist group. But you can spot but them a mile away with the tights and the pointy <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Just nail them. And nail the them where you see the them. And the yeah. ears, the pointy ears. Mm -hmm. They hide well at Christmas. But, but they, they're <laughs> also very, they just don't think far ahead. So it doesn't surprise me that, you know, Hollywood th would think they're wonderful because they're both pretty ignorant. So yeah. water seeks its own level. Hey, Mary, what you got coming up this week? Uh, I'll be on Strategy Room this week, and in the next coming weeks, I'll be on Fox News Radio, Fox News Talk. You can catch it on Sirius 145, XM 168. Excellent. What time? Uh, 6 to 8 p.m., but I'm scattered. So. All right. All right.